Hi folks, my name is Graham and today I'm going to be talking about the best starting class and starting gift in Demon Souls. So you've booted up Demon Souls for the first time, perhaps this is your first ever Souls game and one of the first choices you need to make is what class you want to play as and what starting gift you want to take. Now these can be quite intimidating choices, you know, you might know that the Souls games are already sort of notoriously hard and you don't want to pick a class that's going to make things much more difficult for you or pick a starting gift that you're going to super regret later on and you might end up having to start the game again and it can, it can be quite sort of paralysing as a result. Not to worry because your choice basically comes down to two factors. Number one, do you want to use magic? And number two, are you going for the platinum trophy? If the answer is yes to any of those questions, then you are going to want to pick the Royalty class. First off, Royalty comes already knowing the spell Soul Arrow, whereas most of the other classes don't know any spells by default and you have to wait later on to learn them. So hence, if you want to use magic, pick Royalty because you already know Soul Arrow. It also comes with the Silver Coronet, which is the sort of head piece that you have in this armor set here. Um, that gives you a slight boost to your maximum uh, mana, so you've got slightly more mana by default when you're wearing that. Comes with the Silver Catalyst, which is a wand, which allows you to actually cast the spells. You can't just cast spells with your hands, you need a wand equipped to be able to do it. And finally, it comes with the Fragrant Ring, which gives you a small amount of passive mana regen Whereas by default, you, your mana doesn't regenerate. You need to spend a consumable or you need to rest an arc stone. So if you want to use magic, this is the best class. I also said that if you want to, if you're intended on going for the platinum trophy, you should choose this class as well. The reason for that is the fragrant ring that this class starts with is required for the King of Rings trophy, which is basically get all the rings in the game. You can get the fragrant ring in the game, in the world, through playing the game, it just takes an extra step off of your, your platinum progression path um, if you if you start with it. So if you're going for trophies, I would pick royalty. If you are not intending on going for trophies and aren't interested in using magic, and I would add to this, and you are a new player, I would suggest picking the knight. The simple reason for this is the knight starts with the longsword, which is the best melee weapon of all the starting weapons, and it starts with a shield here which blocks 100% of physical damage, which is really helpful early on. Now I said I would recommend that new players choose knight, and that is because magic is really strong in the early game, um, so one of the sort of worst pieces of advice I see people giving out to new players is oh, you should pick royalty and use magic early on because it will help you get through some of the, the earlier areas. That is true, magic will make the start of the game a lot easier for you, but it can also become a crutch. So if you're using magic, you're not actually learning to fight the enemies in close combat, and you're not learning the mechanics of the game properly. So you will reach a point eventually where magic is not viable anymore or certain spots in the game where magic is not viable and if you haven't learned to actually fight with a sword or another type of melee weapon by that point you will struggle because the game will have expect you, expected you to learn by that stage so that's why i always suggest that new players stay away from magic um, and, and learn the game as a melee character first go knight if you're really, really struggling, if you try Knight and you're really, really struggling, then yeah, maybe try Magic and see if that helps you get through a little bit to a point where you start understanding the game more. But really, I would suggest using the Knight, learning the fundamentals as soon as possible, and that will better equip you for moving forward. Now, as for starting Gift, there really is only one choice here. Choose the Providential Ring. The rest of these options are all just consumables, that you'll find plenty of as you make your way through the game so not worth picking up the providential ring is nothing crazy in and of itself it just raises item discovery slightly which is okay it's not great it's nothing special it's no master key from from dark souls but again it counts towards the king of rings trophy i talked about earlier on so even if you're not planning on going for trophies at the start just choose this in case you change your mind and because 
none of the other options are worth it at all. And that's it.